Mm -hmm. This menu is disconcertingly silent compared to what I was expecting. But although this room may appear nondescript, I would recognize those windows anywhere. Hello, everyone, and welcome, after such a long time, to Alan Wake 2. Okay, literally the enter screen, and we've already got our first jump scare in. A long time for everyone else. For us, it's only been about six months since the first game. Uh, but I remember the absolutely incredible length of the wait. Not only between the first game and the sequel, but also waiting for the first one to come out. Uh, it seems like we've been waiting almost as long as fans of Alan's books in order to see this series come to life. This is so weird. Why am I finding myself so on edge just from this menu screen? I suppose it makes sense, given the circumstances we found ourselves in at the end of the previous game. And from what I understand, this one takes a sharp turn, and makes a sudden stop, if you will, into survival horror. Uh, this is going to be much darker, I think, and... Well, I, I guess I'm just not ready for the tone whiplash. Let's give it a try. Uh, I think normal should be good for now. Maybe we'll change it later. When overwhelmed by the enemy, look for a safe haven. Its healing light prevents the enemy from reaching you. Ah, uh, so maybe some things will still be the same. I haven't followed the development of this game, but it, it seems like it's taking such a radically different approach from the original. And I'm really afraid to see how that's going to present. Already, it, it just feels like it's something we know and yet it's utterly unfamiliar. A good way to get into the headspace, huh? Back to the beginning. We all come to a story with hopes and expectations, looking for an answer. Sometimes it would be better to live with that hope without ever knowing the full story. My co-commentator is scarily on point as always. Wow. In a horror story, there are only victims and monsters. And the trick is not to end up as either. But trapped by the genre, we are all ripped to pieces along the way. This is not the story I hoped it would be. This is not the ending I wanted. This story will eat us alive. This story is a monster. And monsters wear many faces. Who are we? Oh, look at that darkness. I swear I'm turning the camera up so I can look at the sky contrast with the trees. Oh, this game is absolutely gorgeous looking. Now I had heard that this was going to be quite difficult to run and we may have to change some settings as we go. Oh, but look at this. And who are we? What? Is this part of Alan's story, the one he's forced to continually write in order to protect himself, in order to protect the people he cares about? Like I said, I haven't played American Nightmare, but I seriously can't recommend watching this if you don't at least uh, make yourself familiar with the story of the original game. We do not appear to be in a good way, though. 
And anything that emerges from the lake, well, has to have something wrong with it, right? I feel like I'm one of the Taken now, wandering through the darkness. The only light we see being those running around the woods with flashlights, and... Well, to be honest, I understand the draw to get myself closer. Uh, after recording, I'm gonna have to... ...struggle... ...to make sure everything looks right on video. I look so, like, realistically wet, the mud clinging to me, I can almost feel the unbearable, like, soreness and itchiness of walking through these low- BRUSH! <laughs> and there's wildlife at play, so that's great- OH MY- <laughs> Was that an image of Alan? Uh, are those images from the- from the menu screen gonna be plaguing this character? Is all this just a red herring for the first couple minutes? I can sprint by toggling left shift. What good is a sprint here? Uh, let's try the sprint. As expected, that's not worth much, but maybe it could save our life. These branches are whipping around in a way that looks a little bit, uh, a little bit... There's some wind! Back up, back up, back up! I... I recognize those whispers in the shadows. Uh, taken are very much at play. When does this take place relative to... No, we really can't make our way up there? Oh, we have to make a right towards where you came from, do we? Oh, it's so dark, 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 dark. Ah, oh, those voices. I hate them, I hate them, I hate them. <laughs> but looking at these graphics... Wait, 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 there's something here. Yes! Safe haven, safe haven, safe haven. Oh, but you're not going to be able to climb over that. I don't blame you. Splint splinters and all. Go, go, go. You're having absolutely no trouble with the- no. You're having no trouble with the light! Go, 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 go! Run towards you, run towards you! Shook around! Get off, get off, get off, get off! I had no choice! here with my mouth hanging open trying to figure out what I just witnessed. Okay, it is absolutely clear we're hey, in for something girl. huge. How are you? I'm good, Mom. How are you? This trip might take a little longer than I thought. I'm sorry I've been gone so much lately, Logan. 
Oh my god, Mom, it's not your fault. People get all murdery. What happened? Just work stuff. Right. Well, Dad and I are just watching the latest episode of Night Springs here. Mom, it's so good. No spoilers. I'll let you get back to the show. You were supposed to wait and watch with me. I love you both. This is what happens when you go on work trips, Mom. Love you too. And say hi to Casey. Tell him to stop brooding so much. Logan? I will. Bye, kiddo. We're heading back to Cauldron Lake. Logan thinks you should try cheering up. <laughs> Snarky kid. Wonder where she gets that from. <laughs> I love that synchronized coffee sip. Oh, we're already getting back it into can't Twin be a Peaks. That another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Feels like the killer's leaving us a message. I'm glad you're on this case with me, Anderson. It's right up your alley. You should take lead. Think of me as the backup. Okay. Any words of advice? Nothing that would cheer anyone up. Here we are. Cauldron Lake. Time to get to work. A deputy was supposed to be here to show us to the crime scene. There's the car, so where's the deputy? <laughs> Eaten by a bear? I'll check out that map. Return one, invitation. Uh, so the mystery begins. A series of murders in Bright Falls. Uh, I, I wonder how much time is supposed to have passed between the first game and this one, but... I should take a look at that map. Uh, well, at least we're actually playing as the authorities this time and not just trying to evade them. Uh, looking at this game, I can already tell, uh, this is one of those, like, next-gen moments, you know? The kind when you look around and you almost can't believe that the game looks this way. Man, just what was that cold open anyway? We just emerge from the lake like that? Like, it spawned us forth? And then, those Taken, they weren't like the ones we saw in the previous game. They were wearing, like, masks, twigs, branches, antlers? It's like there's some kind of, like, cult or something. They practically said as much. It may, be, it may be a sequel, but there's something very new going on here. Alright, I've just gone ahead and messed with the settings a little bit. The only thing is I've turned off film grain to make it a little easier on recording. And let's start looking for this deputy, shall we? Uh, the map displays key locations in the area, so now that we've found that, uh, we can have a look, and oh my. Is this going to be something of, like, an open world type of game? Uh, if so, that is incredibly cool. Are they actually expanding on, like, some of the coolest features of the first one? I mean, they were just kind of, like, token segments before, but here... I think I hear someone. Could be our deputy. Hmm, there's what sounds to be an argument going on down this way, or at least it started when I came over here. Hmm, a locked gate. The Federal Bureau of Control? That's a new one. Hmm. Toxic volcanic gas, huh? The FBC is an obscure branch. It only shows up for unusual cases. Well, what's so unusual about volcanic gas? Beats me. Is this one of those blue rose situations? Locked. They really don't want people coming in here. Okay, so we're not doing that. Uh, and opening that actually opens up like an item screen, so I guess we'll actually be responsible for finding stuff. Alright, well, let's see what he wants. Hey! Over here! 
There we go. Huh, well, you didn't take long to find. Hey there. Agent Casey, right? Sheriff Breaker said you'd be coming by to take over the case. You're half right. Anderson. Saga Anderson. I'm in charge here. In this case. Seems you already know my partner, Alex Casey. Shoot. Sorry about that, ma'am. I I'm Deputy Mulligan. I just figured that you know that uh Federal agents right here, Thornton. My partner Thornton, <laughs> down at the crime scene. He's not what you call the sharpest axe in the shed. Right here? What do you mean? I think it was you? Oh, shit! They didn't hear me, did they? Uh, I, I could use a briefing. What can you tell us about the crime scene? Tell them about the heart. I was getting to that, Thornton. Well, we reckon there are some uh, organs that are currently outside the victim's person when they should be, well, you know, inside. Look at you trying to look professional for the FBI. Oh, these dialogue options are something very unexpected. Any witnesses to the crime? Were there any witnesses? Yeah, a couple out-of-towners. I wonder what they were doing sneaking around the woods at night. Not that we have anything against city folk, right, Thornton? But don't worry. Sheriff Breaker took him back to town a while ago. Alright, well, let's take a look at that body. I want to see the body. How do we get there? Oh, sure, that's real simple. Just through the hole in the fence, down the hill towards the lake, around the old convenience store. You can't miss it. Everything's been closed since the area was fenced off. The store, the campground, all of it. Well, I suppose they feel like uh, having the FBI snooping around is their big break. I guess forgetting what happened the last time, Before although... Before we get to the crime scene, there's time to review the facts of the case so far. Make sure I'm seeing the clues clearly. Uh, wait, you can access the case board inside the mine place. Eh, just stopping one letter short of calling it the mine palace, huh? Also, don't think I don't see you doing an M. Night Shyamalan lady in the water calling your character Saga. The mine place. My version of the mine palace technique. Oh, there we go. To sift through clues and work the case. Building the mine place again for each case. Using each field office as a model in my head. Mm hmm. The facts are on the board. Each field office, huh? In this case... Uh, a cabin very much in character for Bright Falls. So I suppose we've already arrived in town then, have we? Uh, let's look at some of the evidence that presents itself. Everything we know about the previous murders. Worth taking another look. The case board is a mental technique that allows Saga to analyze clues and progress the investigation. Oh, this is so much... This is so much deeper than I was expecting. Uh, murder method. Slight difference in murders. Bloating, only commonality in bodies, but not cause of death. Chest trauma. Exposure to water post-mortem? Oh, so are they being... Are they being placed in the lake by the killers? And if so, oh man. That almost makes me think that maybe my character was someone who was placed in the lake and managed to crawl back out. Okay, we're now free to investigate the case board. Well, I would very much like to continue doing so. All victims reported missing in 2010. No other commonalities. Ted Lane. Dentist, stab wounds, bloating, bruising on the wrists. Discovered in 2012, buried in a shallow grave. Wendy Davis, teacher. Body bloated, large chest wound, some organs missing, found in Cauldron Lake 2018, predation, state of the body does not match eight years spent in a lake. So is she like somewhat well preserved? And Percy Wolf, store owner, strange tattoos, 
Found two weeks ago, chest wound was ruled as cause of death, tattooing on the body is illegible. Bruising on wrists and legs. Two of the victims had bruising. Some form of restraint? Strapped or belted down? Deep gash in the heart, chest missing. Most recent victim died of major chest trauma. Consistent with 2018 victim? Hard to confirm due to condition of body. And all bodies experienced bloating. Indicative of drowning, but only one was found in water. Killer profile. Post-mortem tattooing of the body. Victim 3 was covered in illegible tattoos. Message from the killer, maybe? Or their so-called art? The victims have no discernible common traits, and the killer may be a sportsman or hunter because the chest trauma resembles animal butchery techniques. I see you're already hard at work, Anderson. Close to cracking it. We're just getting started. Let's head down the hill to the crime scene. Visiting the mine place does not pause the game, so we have to be mindful of nearby threats. That's hilarious, so it's straight up telling us we're not going to be able to retreat into our mine palace in order to wish away threats. Hey, Casey. You putting me in charge. Why now? Look, Anderson, you're a better detective than I am. You've cracked cases that had the rest of us baffled. I don't want to slow you down. Are you thinking of retiring? You know what happens to cops who say this is their last case. Mm -hmm. Oh no, she's aware of tropes. Anderson. That's deadly, especially in this game. Oh, but look at these environments. They are certainly not disappointing. Improving in a huge way over Stays what, around. even all these years you later, still looked down. gorgeous. I'm not that old. I wonder if a if an old cop and a young cop works the same as an old priest and a young priest. <laughs> Even during the daylight, I really do not like these long walks. It feels like such a, a false se murdered. serenity. <laughs> yeah, my thoughts exactly. Well, Saga Anderson, are you going to be yet another in the pantheon of co-commentators? Because you're Damn. well on your way. Should have brought an umbrella. I like the rain. The only thing around here that feels like home. You think the local law had the sense to put up a tarp? <laughs> if they did, next coffee's on me. That's so funny how these, like, small-town cops are, like, trying to be all impressive and professional for the FBI. Another argument up ahead? I don't know, I can just see that this game is definitely going for the charm that the old one had. There's Officer Andy. Deputy Thornton, I take it. That's me, at your service, ready to get this case solved. Now the body's behind the store. Come on, I'll show you. So this is where it happened and... <laughs> oh lord, oh. this is so... The yeah. buildings now are huh? so delightfully dilapidated, so I love it. Hunting down psycho serial killers and shootouts with the mob? You forgot the UFO cover-ups. What? Those are real? You guys hiring? Oh, he's Let's just see this body, shall we? Here it is. Now this is the scene of the crime. We found him on the table. Now he didn't touch nothing, you know. Procedures and stuff. Thanks, Deputy. No tarp. You owe me a coffee. Okay. Let's start by examining our guest of honor. Okay, but not too closely. Previous murders? I mean, well, there is your heart sitting beside Step you. Step one. Examine the corpse. Ah, uh, so <laughs> maybe you're not just rotund. Did you actually emerge already bloated? Hmm. 
Uh, how do we... Uh, we can press E to bring out our flashlight. Yeah, sorry, I've just been messing around with some settings some more. It, it seems like the main issue is that it's using a tremendous amount of VRAM, and I'm on a 10 gig 3080. Uh, but let's get looking. Body is positioned on the table. And I'm Ritualistic. assuming that thing on the bottom left means, yep, we've unlocked our first key image. I can place it on the case board inside the mine palace. I'm going to be calling it that the entire time, aren't I? A C allows Saga to see active clues. Another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Coincidence? I think not. Oh, well, if you weren't going to finish that sentence, I had to. Another body has been found in the woods near Bright Falls. Perfect timing. Need to see if this is linked to the killings we're here to investigate. I'm going to go out on a limb and say yes. Uh, when a key Im image is placed, it will prompt a new question. So now that's our goal, essentially. That's how it gives us our objectives. Oh, that is such a that is such a neat way to do it. I can collect clues from the body to investigate. Okay, well, uh, we can see that the heart's been cut out, we can see that deep chest wound, and we can see that they are indeed bound. Bruising on the wrist from the cargo So I'd say that's consistent. Inside stab wound, chest cut open, heart removed. Which can be found yonder. The killer left the heart right next to the body. Hmm. So now we go back to the case board and we can place these things down. Cargo straps used to restrain victim. I wonder where such things would come from. Ooh, maybe, maybe from some of the logging camps in the area? Oh, I see. We've got to place them onto the open question. So, pin that. Pin that. And pin that. Heart removed from chest. Strapped by the wrists. Definitely matches the previous murders. But this time the heart and the straps were left behind. More clues to work with. This mm. makes four murders that we know about. Maybe they left in a hurry? Or maybe we were meant to see this one. I mean, you did remark on how it was such a coincidence that this happened right as we arrived. Uh, the clues have resolved the open question and unlocked a deduction. As you advance the investigation, new questions will be unlocked, updating your goals. You can check the updated goals by pressing control. There we go. Now we got to learn more about the victim and learn more about the killer, which is kind of Forensics 101. Who is our victim? Who killed him? Need to find more clues. Oh, well, given the stadium merged in, I can't imagine he left much information about himself. If there is a wallet, I don't want to know where he was keeping it. Large amount of blood on the table. The victim died here. Multiple people were here. Multiple killers? Hmm. I mean, I say hmm as if we didn't already know that. Uh, there's a four over here. Oh, and some crime scenes we can have a look around. Something in the grass over there? Someone left in a hurry. Knocked the tripod over. Tripod? For a camera? Yeah, for a camera. Someone was drinking I was beer. thinking or for a light, but that's not likely. Waiting. Hmm. So this was all pre-planned, like they knew this guy was going to be coming this way. Oh, this is so cool. I I'm so into how much deeper this is. And even if the mechanics end up being somewhat token, it's still going to be a way of immersing us into our role as an FBI agent giving us so much more to do and presenting so many different ways to actually tell the story. Uh, beyond just things popping out every 30 seconds. Uh, but it seems like these gas cans aren't evidence. Have you identified the victim? Any idea who the victim is? Oh, I sure do. His name is Nightingale. Nightingale? He came to town about 13 years ago. I haven't heard a word about him since. Well, until now. Nightingale? Robert Nightingale? Oh, yes. You probably knew him. Brothers sure thing. He was one of us. Oh, and sisters. 
So that's what became of him. <laughs> Last we saw, he was getting pulled by a giant dark cloud out the back of a police station. Although I believe we may have encountered him afterwards in some way. Wow, he is looking so much worse for wear these days. I didn't exactly like him, but he didn't deserve whatever this is. All right, let's uh, let's retreat to Yield Palace. Oh god, that is so weird how we just warp here without so much as a cutscene or a loading screen. Let's visit the case board. Alright, so the killers, uh... Blood spat... Well, it says heavy blood splatter on the table instead of spatter. Multiple sets of footprints. Boot prints indicating multiple killers. Quite the party. Hmm. And... We now have an ID on the victim. Although, how you managed all that with him lying on the table like this is beyond me. Thirteen years. Why surface now? Where's he been? But these, these are for later. These don't count as evidence about the killers? Well, I suppose we're meant to ask some more. Uh, actually, if you did know him... What can you tell us about him? So you knew our victim. Well, I didn't recognize him in his current state. But yeah, I ran into him a few times at Quantico. Never worked any cases together. After his partner got killed in the field, he went off the deep end. Got the boot pretty quick after that. So he's been missing since 2010. But I suppose we already could have imagined that. That would make him fit the profile. So, wait, so that means that all of these people are people who went missing around the same time as the events of the first game? Oh my god, emerging from the lake? Are these maybe people who were taken? Uh, if so, the, this cult, they may be trying to stop them from coming back. Nightingale went missing 13 years ago. 2010. The same as all the other victims. Certainly fits the pattern. Makes me wonder what was going on that year. Probably something this town wants to forget. Oh, you have no idea. But what happened after he got fired? We're getting that deep Agent Nightingale lore now. So what happened to Nightingale after the Bureau let him go? I only know the rumors. Depression led to booze, booze led to paranoia. He got some wild ideas in his head, chased ghosts until he fell off the map. Guess he ended up here. I bet there's more to that story. But no happy ending. <sighs> Maybe that's how Alan wanted it. But seriously, though, I I, I'm everything. no, no, no. I'm but glossing over a big part of this. Anything he wasn't yet. FBI sure. by the time we encountered him. Need to think about it. <sighs> okay, well, back to the mind palace. But so I, I guess there were some hints of that. I mean, he was definitely always like disheveled. It was definitely there in the first game, but I don't remember if it ever explicitly stated that he wasn't acting on behalf of the the Bureau. Alright, alright. <laughs> this game wants me to move along a little faster than I am. Uh, so let's tab. And... And see what we know. Robert Nightingale, ex-FBI, came to Bright Falls 13 years ago. Well, these, these things certainly do suggest that the killers were waiting around for a while. That they knew he was coming. They planned for the murder to happen here. Passing the time with equipment ready. They were waiting for him. But why Nightingale? He's been missing for 13 years. Also, why here? I'm trying not why to now? apply too much meta-knowledge, but... We saw them in that familiar shadowy shimmer, but... Maybe that's Profiling. not really the case. I mean, did Getting it take and drink beer? Head. See what they saw. Feel what they felt. Use whatever I know about them to guide my intuition to a revelation. Piece it together. So now that we've got it all, we can start to piece everything together. This is such a cool me mechanic, you guys. I mean, just yesterday I purchased scene investigators, and now this is trying to one-up it. I'm sure it's not this that deep, but still. Me up. <laughs> not the worst mom. Thanks, Logan. Uh, 
Right, let's get out of this. And get to work. Oh my, you look even worse than the real thing. So, a ritual murder? Nightingale was chosen as the victim. Why? Click the switch. It goes click. Lights are off. But somebody's home. I've seen that somebody's look before. Home. This wasn't some random act of violence. This was a ritual. A Nightingale a component. They didn't see him as a person. More like a container for something. A container? A container that they maybe had to make space in by removing the heart? Now look, what we what just happened to us, that intuition that she experiences, that is very, very similar to Alan being guided to write, isn't it? Agent Nightingale has been MIA for 13 years. How did he end up here? Up from the lake that's not a lake. It's not a dark. lake. He was there too. You are not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. Robert Nightingale came from the lake before his murder. Meaning he had progressed to this state before being killed. Remember, only one was actually found in the lake, which uh, actually makes it an interesting exception rather than rule. But why now, after 13 years? Where's he been? And, well, she doesn't know it yet, but the answer is right where you assumed. The lake is connected to Nightingale somehow. Casey. Let's take a look down by the lake. Lead the way. Sounds good. Uh, this way, right? Right. Well, okay. Well, I'll just, uh, I'll just wait here. Yep. You, uh, you brought a pin for your nose, right? Uh, well, you have fun. Hopefully the rain will, uh, keep the gases down somewhat. This one of your hunches, Anderson? Did something happen at the lake? I think Nightingale came up from that direction. From a lake. Probably looking for shelter. Safety. They were waiting for him. When you're ready, I'd love to hear what you put together so far. Sure. It's not that complicated. Not that complicated? You have an incredible gift. Night, possibly nude. The killers knew he was here. Ambushed him. Dragged him to the campgrounds. Strapped him to the table. Cut his heart out. But then they were interrupted by those witnesses, the bookers. The job is unfinished. You can climb up here. Seems pretty complicated to me. What was this guy doing skinny dipping at this time of year? Haven't figured that part out yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I'm just having a look around. There Lots might of be. Lots for us to find. I'll be back in a second. Roger. Ooh, ah! Oh, I didn't even realize it at first. This cabin is all overgrown. Oh my, and I'm now realizing these cabins, these are probably going to be part of the same resort that Alan stayed at in the first game. And now even more, even more lonely than before. Oh, this game is so unbelievably dark. The Witch's Hut. Uh, can we pull these vines aside and see what it says? Here lived the Witch of Cauldron Lake. Beware, her spirit may still haunt this place. Well, there's a witch afoot, all right. But it was never really clear how much of this was Alan's own doing. We're gonna need our light. There we are. Ah, oh, all of this is so realistic. Look, it's like I can see every individual crack in the wood, even though I've turned the textures down some. All the leaves scattered about the floor. Table's still set, as if someone could come in here and eat at any moment. And... Uh, there's the signature cauldron. Ooh, and some rope. Yeah, not that it's all that weird to find rope, but uh, given what we've been through, all I can see is some kind of binding tool. Alright, well, we don't need this anymore. If we have a look at the map, does it show where we are? Indeed it does.
More abandoned camping gear. Looks like somebody maybe posted up for hunting. Friday. Midge told me that her family's moving away. This sucks. I haven't even told her that I like her yet. Is this like a teenager? What's the point anymore? She said her parents want to get better jobs and get her to a better school in a big city. I guess that's fair. Who wants to stay in Bright Falls? Sunday. So I told her. She said, thanks. Kill me. Monday. I snuck out last night again. Went to the big house by the lake instead of just watching it from here like I always do. Instead of just sitting around like I always do. Screw that. Anyway, something weird is going on down there. I'm gonna go find out what. I'm gonna go back there tomorrow with better gear. And I bet I can find a way inside the building. Take some photos. It's gonna be epic. Hmm, what... What, what house by the lake? Uh, is it just me or is it constantly getting darker? Ooh, batteries. Okay, those will come in handy, surely. And what are we learning? There is, there is benefit to exploration. It does want us to look around. Oh, look at the way the fog on this rainy day hangs low through the forest. Which is ladle. I didn't know trees got that big. Gives me the creeps. You need to get out more. It is kind of creepy, though. Yeah, you're telling me. Oh, and we get to walk through Yoda's little Dagobah trial thing. Cool. Uh, flashlight hardly makes a difference at this point. Is this thing even on? Ooh, there's a note here and something Tracks. on the ground. Barefoot. Nightingales? They come out from under the boulder. It makes no sense. Is that gonna be a manuscript page? There's a piece of paper on the ground. Hang on. Oh, wait. No, no, no. Have a look at it. Pick it up. Pick it up. You're really not gonna... <sighs> a page full of text on one side. Not a printout. Written with a typewriter. Old school. Lines scratched out and edits added with a pen. Mm-hmm. Like a manuscript. Page of a story. Hmm. The killer left a message. It's for us. The text is about us. The victim was one of their own. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. And then there was the page they found. The first step down into terrifying depths. Reading, Reading the, words. the words. These words felt like a message. Felt like a message. Someone knew they were here. Someone playing a game with them. An invitation. How could they not accept? Even if they knew it would end up hurting them. That is so creepy. Someone's been watching us. Playing a sick game with us. Uh, right. Okay, Epic Games, you're ruining the mood. This is right up my alley. Nightingale came this way. Either he dropped this page, or the killers left it for us. Well, I don't remember dropping any pages. I should profile Nightingale about this page. <laughs> Why do you say that like you're going to send him a text and ask about it? Uh, then again, with your supernatural capabilities, that's more or less the case, isn't it? We found a page in the woods. A story about these events. What is Nightingale's role in this? I carry his words close to my chest now. Inside. The awful truth. You must dig it out. Something was put inside him. In his chest. I must find out what. Um, so did they just not autopsy any of the other bodies, or is this someone... Is this something new that they're doing? Oh, and we can actually read the manuscript page. 
Uh, we've got more to add. The trail had gone cold. A dead end, literally. And footprints emerging from under the rock, almost as if all of this grew up in his path, just specifically to block us. I think he came from the lake. But his tracks make no sense. Asking the wrong questions, that's your intuition. You're very much an Agent Cooper in this scenario. You're adapting very well to some very strange circumstances. Uh, but it's all starting to come together. We've got to find this Pepe Sylvia. Yeah, this is not doing a whole lot right now. Uh, maybe you only turn it on indoors or at night. This daylight darkness, I've never seen it portrayed so well in a game before. I mean, the closest thing would probably be in Where's Oswald, but I feel like this has just got, like, the graphical power to get all the nuances that make these cozy days what they are. But certainly creepy, should you happen to find yourself perusing abandoned cabins amid a murder investigation in the forests of the Pacific Northwest. I think I saw something. It'll only take a minute. Always here. Oh, we're, <laughs> we made our way straight back around. Never mind. I suppose it makes sense, given our path was blocked. Uh, I love how you actually, like, come back to look for me. Almost feels like a relief to step back into this clearing, even knowing the body is just around the corner. I mean, down there, it felt like we were deep in it. And darkness does carry some implications in this game. Yeah, so it seems like there are two major sources of performance issues for me with my current settings. The very high VRAM usage. Hey, you made it back. And just Good. having to load stuff in when we move between I areas. Stuck in any of those big puddles. Crazy flooding down there, huh? Just like I said. Uh, you are a character, ain't ya? Uh, so that's interesting. It seems like the map does actually mark where blocked paths are. And back at that little campsite, it is still marking a point of interest. Does that mean that there's still things to be found there? I want to walk around for a minute. You know where to find me. Okay, so this gate too is locked. Uh, what if we poke around the crime scene a little bit more? There's a very conspicuous path back here. Hmm. keypad, a sliding gate to the lake house. Is this perhaps heading off to, uh, we can't get yet, yeah, Cauldron Lake Lodge? I wonder if it's been left abandoned? Hello, this is Agent Anderson and Agent Casey, FBI. We'd like to come in and ask a few questions pertaining to an investigation. No one on the other end. Nice talking to you, too. I mean, it seemed like somebody picked up. Oh, wait, 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 this isn't the... Oh, this is just beyond. This is just beyond the crime scene. Huh, were the killers maybe posted up here as well? That's certainly a strong sign in favor, some kind of effigy. A creepy twig sculpture? Hmm. And there's a padlock on this. What's inside. Confused? I should take a look around for a way to open this thing. Confused? Follow the steps. Wash your hands. Take the chicken out of the fridge. Take a nap. Hmm. We are being toyed with. Uh, well, let's have a look inside this trailer, I suppose. Ah, oh, it is so dark, so dark, so dark. 
Uh, and look, I, I was hoping this would be the case. Look at how realistically our flashlight interacts with this environment, and I'm not even on max settings. Look how it creates that shadow on the edge of the door frame, how it just barely trails off, leading to a sense of depth into the back room. Into the back room where I can't help but notice an old sleeping bag. Uh, it's not the same by Marco Vargas. Yeah, somebody was staying here all right. And look, there's markings on the walls. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to need your help to read this. Let this be a warning to you, fellow trespassers. They say the lake is a caldera, something formed by an erupting volcano, or the sinkholes it leaves in its wake. But what if that's not true? What if it's something else? Something less natural and much more man-made, intentional? I say the lake's not formed. It's designed. And it has a purpose. The lake is a hiding place. Beneath the calm surface lies a secret machinery ready to be activated at the press of a button. And the people with the button. They're in that big house by the lake preparing. I know it. First drawing, water line. Real caldera is made from a volcano. Lava. Second drawing, water line. Engineered structure. Strange machines. Somebody was doing their homework on this thing, staking it out. And what's more, I can't help but be... I can't help but be aware of this wording. A secret machinery ready to be activated at the press of a button. I can't help but think back to the clicker. But maybe we've found all there is hey, to see here. What's the forest's favorite shape? Please, Anderson. Just one case without the rid A triangle. I don't get it. Yes, you do. <laughs> okay, she might have an on-the-nose name, but I do like her quite a bit. I also like this team dynamic that they're going for. I mean, in the first game, we were alone for so much of it. Then we all got together towards the end, but they weren't very helpful. Maybe it'll be the opposite here. Maybe we start with a partner, and I hope we don't lose him over time. Hey there, Mr. Deer. You remind me of a dream I had. A dream you had involving a deer? Why did you whip the camera around like that, game? Why'd you do that just now? I, I'm assuming that's all there is to find here. I didn't see anything else. Or, well, you did say wash your hands, take the chicken from the fridge. Although we can't seem to literally interact with this stuff. It's very difficult to make a forest feel like a forest in a game because there's so many little things. All this detail, all these, all these plants and trees. It's a lot of work to do, especially to make it run well. They're doing a lot considering... But this tent isn't of more interest to you? Oh, there is- there are things over here. Uh, writing this down in case it happens again and I forget. I got that feeling again. It hit me suddenly at 1.15am after I'd finished my AHMA on the porch of the trailer. I got- I got in the car and drove, chasing it. Starry night. Not much moon is expected. It led me past Bright Falls to Cauldron Lake. I tried to find the right spot. The right emotion. The right thought. The combination to have it all aligned to make it happen. Terrified it would. It didn't. Not this time. Frustrated, but relieved. I scanned the sky for the shapes. The objects. Nothing. But when I blink repeatedly... I think, and something's crossed out. I saw the afterimage of an octahedron. It faded fast. When I got ready to drive back, I felt someone watching me. Here, but not here. It's him. I know it is. 
Does he know I'm getting close? I'm on the right track. I was right to come to Bright Falls. Huh, are you... Are you collecting these shapes? Are these all things that came to you in these images? UFOs and you. The ultimate guide to spotting unidentified flying objects. And this thing does have a way of drawing people in, of making them see what they want to see. Of using their own stuff against them. Is that a kid's lunchbox? An Alex Casey movie lunchbox. Casey hates the endless jokes about coincidentally having the same name as a fake detective. He hates those cheesy crime books, but he really hates the movies. If he hates them so much, why does he act like such like a noir archetype? How do you like the knitting, hero? I had... I had made it just for you. And we found three manuscript fragments. Maybe we have to do something with that here? Hang on, let's start piecing things together. Nightingale has something hidden inside him, but I didn't have the option to examine him. Yeah, according to this, we'll have to uh, examine it back in town. And the manuscript page. Found all I can here. Time to properly examine the body. See what I can find inside. Alright. But... Will I get to explore some more? Oh, hang on. Weapon upgrades. Oh, so we'll actually be able to upgrade our weapons here at the bench. Weird thing to do in our mind palace. I wonder if this isn't just the mental anguish of asking for upgrade forms. Oh. No, there's no upgrade forms with the FBI. I'm guessing we're going to be using the manuscript fragments. If only the rest of the Bureau knew what a softy Casey is. That's hilarious. We're getting all his characterization through you. Can we upgrade before we've even had the opportunity to use it? No, we cannot. Alright, I can tell that this is going to be a game that encourages us to take our time, and I am here for it. Let's tell the deputies to get the body to the town morgue. Okay. A lunchbox again. Who's leaving these out here? Oh wait, there's something more over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You saw it before I did. Uh, but this one is surrounded by decorated rocks. I know things can get a little crazy around here, but if you're ever feeling scared, just remember that Alan is watching over us. I is that the him the other guy was chasing? Is he somehow, like, aware that this whole reality, seemingly, or at least the reality along the lake, is being, like, manipulated? Remember, in order to keep the people he cares about safe, Alan has to keep writing this story, but there were implications that the longer he spends trapped in the clutches of the thing in the lake, the more it's able to corrupt his vision of things. He may not even know what he's doing. Did you get lost, Anderson? Yeah, just a little bit. Well, let's get the body back to town. Deputy, I want the body taken back to town for a proper examination, ASAP. Well, sure, but the coroner won't be back in town for another week after Deerfest. You still do Not that? No problem. Oh, no, that, uh... Oh, Sheriff Breaker called to say he's got the bookers at the Oh Dear Diner in town. Oh, and I've got a key... To the gate, it's a shortcut back to the parking lot just up the hill. Uh, thank you. Oh, the bookers. Now, it's been a few months since I revisited the Thanks. first Alan Wake. Let's get the car. Drive but I'm Falls hearing some familiar names. These witnesses, the bookers. At the diner, right? I, I could use a cup of coffee. Let's try that shortcut the deputy mentioned. Sounds good. I wonder how Rose is doing. Although I wouldn't hope for her to still be working there 13 years later. Let's get back Seems there. Seems like a nice town so far. Murders aside. Pretty woods. Cute lodge we got set up in. We should go for a hike if we get a chance. Now you're just being mean, Anderson. A hike? Deputies what have we been exactly doing? exactly up to the task, but hopefully the sheriff will be more helpful. Not a surprise about the deputies. 
doubt they see much stuff this gruesome. Yeah, but, you know, give them a break, I suppose. Oh, that is so cool. Start us off with something totally unfamiliar, almost, with the exception of Alan's narration. And then make us realize that it is familiar, that we do know this person, but only once we're in a new perspective. And now worlds are truly about to collide as we go visit the diner in town. I'm going to go check something out. Be right back. Got it. Man, this FBC really locked things down tight. Uh, but it doesn't seem like we can enter this doorway. Those rocks, though, are we going to be are we going to be discovering in another of these lunchboxes? There's another lunchbox. Uh, I suppose it's only appropriate, given our previous protagonist spent a lot of time looking for thermoses. We're all in this together, hero. Have a heroic day. Uh, so somebody's watching over us as this person feels that Alan watches over them. How did they come to be aware of this? Uh, I'm just, I'm really thinking about, like, the wording and the tone of the me the messages... It's almost like messages a mother would lead their kid every day, huh? Can't fit the clues all together yet. Heart removed. Tripod. Tracks leading to a dead end. A tripod? For a camera? To record a, a snuff film? Maybe. Uh, uh, and good job, Casey. And why his heart just to throw it away? To stuff in something for us to find. And we're determined to find it, although it seems so far that uh, it's more of a metaphorical thing. That what was left behind for us was words. And then again, we are on the hunt for manuscript pages. Oh, I bet this is the gate that I ran up against in the beginning. Which would mean that we are heading to our front. Alright, let's get a move on. You know, I, I had said that I was worried that this was going to be entirely unfamiliar. That it was going to go in an entirely different direction. And it it's really cool how it is, but it isn't. I mean, this Here all feels very much like a continuation. Let's back to town and meet the sheriff at the diner. Both in its vibe and in its mechanics in a weird way. And yet, you can definitely feel that time has passed, that things have aged, both for us, both for gaming, and for the world itself. I can't get that manuscript page out of my head. I've never seen killers reach out so directly before. Damn impressive work so far. With your technique, these hunches were moving fast. I wasn't sure about taking a case so far from home, but I'm thrilled to be here for this mystery. I'm not thrilled to be here for Deerfest. Need to swing by the lodge to get anything from the field office? No, I'm all set. I'll park there anyway. I want to walk to the diner, get a feel for the town. The diner's just up the waterfront. Shouldn't keep the sheriff and our witnesses waiting. I smell coffee. Uh, it looks just like I remember it. Oh, it's like coming back and like revisiting a town from childhood. No. No, 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 no. You're not allowed to have floats. What have you had today, Charlie? Don't know, don't care. <laughs> I see the characters haven't gotten any less eccentric. I wonder how many remember the events of before. Well, at least these are somewhat less threatening than the previous iteration. I do wonder what became of it. I thought we had destroyed it, but I believe we did see it in the cutscene at the end of the last game. Uh, uh, this is... This is just I'm where we came in. Out. Be right back. 
This is the view from when Alan came here all those years ago. It seems like such a distant memory. It is such a distant memory. Uh, really doing a good job of balancing the nostalgia with the new. It, it feels familiar, but it's not... It's not just pandering to that nostalgia. Hey, can I photobomb for you? Oh, you guys look like you're waiting for someone. That concludes our debate on whether pets should be allowed at this year's bake sale. For those of you just tuning in... Oh my god. ...to the Pat Main Radio Hour, brought to you by Davis Family Moose Jerky. And boy, what an eventful day here in Bright Falls. By now, we've all seen the FBI setting up shop in town, and I'm sure you're all asking the same question I am. Did they bring all this darn rain with them? Deerfest is right around the corner, and we're all crossing our fingers for sunshine. So, I reached out to our top meteorologist for a weather update. She never responded, but I have her uncle Tapio on the line from Watery. Tapio, are you there? Yes. Great. Oh wow, he's even older Tapio, than you. What kind of weather can we expect today? Rain. Uh, that definitely seems to be on the menu. <laughs> How about over the next week? Also rain. Care to uh, uh, elaborate? Any chance the sun will poke out in time for Deerfest? No. <laughs> Deerfest is coming, rain or shine. And that parade lineup is looking dandy as ever. Yes, I like this parade because they're one float in the shape of a swan. Long neck and everything. A very large swan. Ah, so you're a fan of swans? No. Right, well, that's our time. We'll be right back after this next song by the rock and roll sensation National Nightmare. Yeah, I'm sure they're good, but probably got nothing on Odin and Thor, right? Oh, I see. You're taking selfies. I couldn't photobomb you if I wanted. Ah, that is so good. All these years later to hear Pat Main still on the radio. All right, well, uh, enough screwing around. Let's go have a look at what's going on in this diner. There you are, waving me in. Let me guess. The FBI. Welcome to Bright Falls. It's nice to have you here. I got you both some coffee. Oh, it's Washington's finest. Oh, I'm sure that's a fine cup of coffee. Nice to meet you, Sheriff. I'm set for coffee. You know, I wouldn't say no to another. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. This is Agent Alex Casey. Tim Brinker. And let me just say, I'm happy you two are here. Frankly, we could use the help. I was told there were witnesses. Your deputies said you had a couple of witnesses here. They made them sound like suspects. Mulligan and Thornton are still on about that? No, no, the bookers don't strike me as the murdering type, but you can decide for yourselves. They're just inside having coffee and pie to calm their nerves. I'll see what they have to say. Casey, you compare notes with the sheriff. Take your time. Uh, so it seems like maybe friction with local law enforcement would still be a thing. Sheriff. Have you had many people besides the known victims go missing? Sure. But it's slowed down ever since Cauldron Lake was fenced off. Let me guess. Missing person cases spiked around 2010. The fence was built just after. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly right. Spiked isn't the word for it. Hmm. It was hundreds, wasn't it? I can't believe that happened. This is something, but I'm not seeing any familiar faces. I'll take your mind off things. Uh, and it seems like they never did fix that light in the back hallway leading to the restrooms. Alright, the the bookers, the bookers. Excuse me. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. Are you the bookers? That's us. I'm Tammy, and he's Ed. Hello, oh, officer. Just oh. Saga is fine, Ed. So, are we being charged with anything? Because if not, we'd love to get back to our hotel and decompress after what we saw. Take a bath, scream into pillows, that kind of thing. We're not charging you. You were the ones running around questions. last night. Nothing to stress about, okay? Uh, 
Can you tell me what you saw? So what did you see in the woods? This naked dude came out of the lake and he was acting crazy, shouting weird shit at us. He must have been on something. Unless skinny dipping at dawn is a thing around here. Then we heard shooting. We ran into these psychos in deer masks. They were tearing into the naked guy with knives, like some kind of satanic cult. And then we bolted and called the cops. Oh my god, well... Uh, we learned that they were, in fact, wearing deer masks. So the fact that you were able to see that... First of all, it's telling that they allowed you to leave, since there were a bunch of them and they would have had to have seen you. And also, it just seems to me that... That dark shimmer, it, it increasingly seems like that wasn't real. That that was a hallucination on the part of the character we were playing as. But I love this. These conversations, these characters, they're so expressive and well animated. Alright, uh... Why were you at Cauldron Lake? What were you doing at Cauldron Lake last night? I'm a writer. Truth oh, writer. don't, don't, don't do I that. New York, doing some research on a famous novelist, Alan Wake, who went missing here. I was down at the lake, getting some details. Perfectly legal. It's just a never-ending cycle. Why do you think it was a cult? What makes you say it was a cult? <laughs> the masks and knives aren't enough. Yeah, you're... I agree. They were shouting, Cult of the tree. The cult of the tree. Cult of the tree. That is quite convincing. Oh. And then we found a... The whole thing was terrifying. What That's did you all. find? Can we really not follow up on that? What did you find? Uh, something was... For some reason, she didn't want this you to talk about that. Exactly and something tells. came to us just at that moment. I... You know how touchy these rural types can be? <sighs> okay, well, we've got more to explore in the Mind Palace, but... First... Why don't we have a look back here? Oh, wow. Uh, it's like even our flashlight can't penetrate this darkness. Uh, corpses are part of the job. I mean, I suppose in your case, yeah, but still. Uh, teamwork makes the dream work. Is there anywhere that doesn't have a deer head mounted? Rest easy, buddy. Hmm. You seem to have a certain level of admiration for these creatures. I wonder if they're not maybe acting as a collectible. And we'll have to start examining them more often, then. And there is one in your mind palace. Padlock on the back door on the inside. Uh, this is the restroom where it all started. Oh, this is also... This is also faithfully recrafted. Why would this door even lock if it's not single person? Uh, I keep expecting any moment I'm going to turn around and be face to face with a veiled woman. But then again, I can't get through knowing this. the way this thing works, it might come in a different form altogether. Uh, uh, it's interactive. Maybe we will get a key for this at some point. A sweet relief of the daylight. This actually would be quite a cozy little you. spot to hang out, wouldn't it? Uh, but back to business. We've got things to figure out. We need to do some profiling. The bookers, they know something. So the cult of the tree. The cult of the tree. What aren't the bookers telling me? I found their necklace. The symbol is two triangles. The cult wants their spruce tree back, Tammy. Finder's keeper is Ed. My publisher will want this on the cover. Tammy found something. A necklace belonging to one of the cultists. So, that information, what they truly wanted to say, just comes to you. It's almost like this whole section of the game is the plot contrivance section. But given the premise, it actually sort of works. 
The bookers were at Cauldron Lake. Why? This was built to hide what's there. They say the rider fell in the lake. Private party. No trespassing. My book has questions. Pass the bolt cutters. They broke in for the sake of Tammy's book. Nothing to do with a the murder. They were telling the truth. Okay, but... You say, they say the writer fell in the lake, so people do remember Alan. But what about Alice? What about... What about his buddies? I mean, surely they must be out there somewhere, right? Uh, can we go back and confront them about what they weren't telling us? I think you found something. I mean, you know, besides the fact that he straight up said that you found something, and I could have asked just based on that. So you found something there, right? A necklace these cultists may have dropped. Okay. Wow. How did you put that together? It's evidence. You need to hand it over. Okay. Okay. Told you not to keep that thing to me. Looks like the symbols we've been finding painted all over. Thanks. This could prove to be helpful. Do me a favor. Stick around. You're Tom, still here. Have any more questions? <sighs> like we'd even dream of missing dear Oh God. Saga. Saga Anderson. As I live. And Are you gonna be a fan again? I'm glad I you're okay at least. Never see you back here after that awful, awful thing happened to your baby girl. How are you? Um, I'm sorry. Who are you? I don't know what you're talking about. It's me, silly. Rose. You know me. I don't think I do. And what horrible thing happened to my baby girl? She drowned your daughter uh, that's so weird you don't remember how do you know I have a daughter oh I know what this is you're blocking out your traumatic memories happens on TV all the time no. maybe we're not the only ones with some kind of weird intuition you're mistaking me for someone else <laughs> if you say so I mean, we spoke to our daughter on the phone on the way up here. And I don't think we're crazy. I mean, Agent Casey was right beside us. There's a lot more mysteries going on here than just what's happening in town. All set? My guys have Nightingale at the morgue if you're ready to go take a look. I very Let's much go. am. <laughs> well, Casey, yep, you're, you're, I you're slipping into the co-commentator like role quite comfortably, cult. I must say. The Cult of the Tree. A murder cult. Fuck. Have you heard of this Cult of the Tree, Sheriff? Only the urban legend. If you're in the woods at night, the cult will get you. That sort of thing. Uh, it doesn't We're seem to be a legend. You're the Grand Wizard or something, are we? I played some D&D back in the day. The wizard was always my favorite class. Morning, Sheriff! Looks like you have some guests! Ah, uh, morning, Ted. Yeah, real important guests. Deerfest. Always draws a crowd, right? <laughs> Too true. More the merrier. Have a good one, Sheriff. Oh, was that voice actor in the previous game? It sounds very familiar. Also sounds kind of like Goofy. Hey, what do you know about that waitress from the diner? <laughs> Rose? Yeah, she's a bit of a space case. Always had been. Why? What'd she do now? She kept saying that my daughter drowned. She even knew my name. It was all very weird. Rose has a talent for saying the weirdest thing possible, but it's best not to take it personally. Yeah, she seemed like a bit of a nut, but nothing like this last time we saw her. Hey boss, corpse is downstairs ready to go. Yep, in the morgue, all prepped. I'd like to take a closer look as soon as possible. Lead the way, Sheriff. Oh, uh, here we are, the Bright, Bright Falls, Falls Sheriff, Sheriff Station, Station once again. Need, just uh, let us know. We appreciate the support, Sheriff. Oh, it's exactly the I'll same. Right you, sir. Uh, yep, I hope yep. you fix the lights in the holding here. cell. You're ready to <laughs> and here is our Twin Peaks meeting room. 
Oh, I am loving this so much. Sorry to geek out over the nostalgia like this, but it's been so long I think I'm allowed to. I may have only played it on the channel six months ago, but I played it myself, like, well, not too long after it came out. Uh, all the characters standing around. It, it seems like this game knows even better than the original that having all this stuff, all the ways to immerse ourselves in the life of this town so is so critical. So we share next door. It's a shoestring budget. I guess you guys don't have that problem, though. Our only coroner rotates between a few other towns and he's away this week, but you can handle this, right? I'm qualified to perform examinations. Yes. First time seeing the morgue, though. Could we maybe turn some lights on? Please. Oh, never mind. There's just some crazy eye adjustment going on. Morgues. They always cheer me up. I can't say I feel the same. He's joking. Sort of. Oh, look okay. at the silhouettes crossing Let's into the take a room. Look at our I'll start Let's with the begin. external inspection before performing the internal examination. Uh, so we're going to be present for this, will we? What was the cause of death? What uh, other clues can the body give me? Well, this looks certainly like a cause of death. There's writing on here. Wait, there's Can't writing? There's writing on the writing? heart? How'd they manage that? Huh, I mean, I guess that's sort of like the tattoos found on victim number three, right? Defensive wounds. They put up a fight. Only for a moment, though. This looks like text. A hmm. tattoo? Nightingale didn't strike me as a tattoo guy. I still can't believe this is supposed to be him. The body shows signs of being submerged in water post-mortem. But he was it killed right there. Uh-huh. They did leave something inside his chest. What though? Uh, you're gonna make us retreat to the mine palace to find out? Oh, I'm on the edge of my seat. Whatever it is, it's surely a message for us. Alright, so it looks like here we'll have to switch cases. Oh, we've got the Alex Casey lunchboxes. And here's the Cauldron Lake murders. Each of these uh, has its own points of interest. Okay, so we're actually going to benefit a lot from exploring around. Any Casey movie lunchbox out here can't be a coincidence. Another message? I mean, it always could be. On oh, each of these is its own branching thing. All right, so we can add that and that and that. That's it. Now back to our main case. Uh, there we go. We're dealing with an organized group of killers, not a lone serial killer. Seems like the kind of thing that warrants backup, perhaps? Or, you know, like literally anything? So the Cult of the Tree, what can we learn about them? I need to know more about the Cult of the Tree if I'm going to shut them down. It is scary how much you're co-commentating right now. Uh, well, let's just... Gather what we know, the necklace with the triangle symbol. <clears throat> the uh, triangle figures made from twigs. And the deer masks that they all wear. Oh, come on, that counts. Uh, but towards cult psychology. So we're learning about their symbology, their psychology. And from there, we've got to learn who's part of it and what they're trying to do. This is so much deeper than I was expecting, and I'm having so much fun with it. And I like how often I'm being rewarded for actually thinking about things as we progress. It doesn't feel like I'm just pressing down the W key to move forward. But there is more to this. Time to see what Nightingale's body can tell us. Anything to learn from the body? Well, lots. Uh, most importantly, what we found inside the chest. This long-term water... Look at those feet. Like, uh, uh, that is... That is far worse than what I even believed from the first examination. Come on, can I... Can I put you here? Uh, well, I suppose that's under cause of death. It's more of a branching from learning from the body. 
that writing is also something we'll have to look into. Tattooed Text all over. Smudged. Looks inverted. Heart can't have been marked before removal. But what is it that's in his chest? That's what's keeping me on the edge of my seat right now. There's definitely something in his chest. Did the killers leave it there? Well, uh, if it didn't grow there, then it was left there. I feel like that should be obvious. Also, you don't need your mind palace for this. You could also just, you know, do it. Is this going to be another manuscript page? It's the same type of page we found at Cauldron Lake. Nightingale hunted Saga. Didn't see her. The Taken could not see into bright light. Light hurt them, made them vulnerable. Nightingale had no heart, but here he was. Killing. Someone's created a fucked up fantasy about us. I would keep an eye on that hey, corpse from now on. We found these kinds of pages. I didn't think they were relevant to this case. I have them right here. So these manuscript pages have just been turning up. Excuse me? Oh my god. Okay, it's been so long, I really was not ready for that. What an abrupt way to get things started. Didn't see her. Could not see into bright light. <sighs> this darkness is more powerful than ever, isn't it? Uh, no more smoke trail like Dementors. Try to stay in the light to avoid being detected by enemies. Does it heal like before? Yes, right here, right here, right here. It seems like it does. I can hear you moving around out there. You can't see me in the light. I have I have my flashlight, but I can't aim it. My gun's out in the hall. Gotta get it back. Safe havens will restore some of your health. If you leave or attack from a safe haven while in combat, it will become temporarily unavailable. Go! Oh my god, the way you just like lurched out of the shadows like that! Oh my god, we've gotta go get it. We've gotta follow you into the- oh my god. Can I- can I follow you around? Oh no, 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 you're gonna corner me. Let's walk, let's walk. You can see me in the dark, though. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Oh, it's locked, it's locked, it's locked. No, no, no. No! Move, 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 move! Right, so, what do I do? I mean, I can hear you moving around that. Oh. There's also openings there. You can't see me in the light. What? What, what happens if I try to shine a light on you, it won't My even let me try. Okay, you go that way. I'm going this way. You can see me now, so... I've gotta move. Go, 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 go! 
I can aim by right click and shoot, shoot. You're just gone. End of chapter. Oh my god, that was horrifying. I, I knew that it was taking more of a turn into horror, but I had no idea. I did not expect to be so seized up in this game. Unable to move forward like when I was a kid trying to play Silent Hill 4. Oh my... Okay, well, the, the copyrighted music is playing, so we're gonna have to mute that, but... Oh, we are back in a big way. This is nuts. Oh, the way that, like, still shiny and wet skin glows in the dim light, the one light overhead moving around in the darkness, able to hear you moving around, and so utterly vulnerable. Oh, I can't wait to see what kind of scares are in store for us. This is the kind of thing that was missing from the first one. Uh, and so many mysteries present in the story. Like, I, I feel like even knowing what came before, we're still not... We still have no idea what's waiting for us in those forests. Uh, and night hasn't even fallen yet. Alright, well, I'm going to record more right now. I'm not going to spend too long on an outro, but suffice to say, I am hooked. And until next time, if you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to suggest that will be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. If you want to try this game out for yourself, that link will also be in the description. If you want to support me on Patreon, that link will be in the description. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Guys, I need to know where this goes.